All right, everyone. So it's the Saturday of our weekend here in Salem. And the first thing on the agenda is the Peabody Essex Museum. So we're going to head on in there and, and get real cultured. Get real cultured. We'll see what they've got going on. In American Water seems to be the big exhibition there. So, um, yeah, should be a good time. Really looking forward to it. And... Yeah, we're just kind of, it's a little bit before our entrance time, so we're just sort of chilling out and having fun here on Essex Street. It's been a good time, and we're going to do that. We got a cruise and another ghost tour tonight, so we booked it kind of heavily today because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And that phrase, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the thing here. We don't know the hurricane situation, so yeah, we're going to head on in and you know, see what no we got. Leave no regrets, basically. Like, leave if we no... have to be holed up in the room all day, like... Like, we want to make sure we got everything accomplished. So yeah, we're going to check out the Peabody Essex Museum and see what other fun things we can do here on Salem on a pretty nice Saturday afternoon. Beagle. One note on this Commodore Plus Four will send you to a faraway land. Alrighty, everyone. So we're back in the room. We did the Peabody Essex Museum, and it was pretty good. It was! Yeah, it, um, they had a lot of, um, American marine time art, so, um, yeah, a lot of, um, American art relating to sailing, and that was the major special exhibition. They had some work from the artist who did Michelle Obama's portrait. Yeah, um, I like that picture. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Um, they had some child Hassam. They had um, lots of really good... Uh, George Bellows, he's um, a particular favorite of mine. Um, they had lots of really nice... Um, Asian export artwork, um, uh, lots of really cool examples of that, um, lots of nice Indian art, um, yeah. uh, the Indian subcontinent that is, and some of those like heads were kind of creepy, there were some wax heads in that collection and that was and some wax sculptures that you're yeah. sure come to life at night. Yeah, those are the yeah, those kind of squigged me out, but I'll go ahead and put up a little musical interlude and show some of the highlights of the collection at the Peabody Essex Museum. It was a pretty good time there. <laughs>
Yeah, and after the um, uh, Peabody Museum, as you can see, the Peabody Essex Museum, I should say, um, uh, we have we went to CVS there um, to sort of get ready for tomorrow's uh, downpour. Um, we're not really planning on leaving the hotel tomorrow, so we well, stocked we have up to leave and for breakfast. yeah, we'll leave for breakfast and uh, get completely drenched for breakfast and possibly blown away. And then, like, lunch and... I can't even imagine the wind that could blow me away. Yeah, oh, all this. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so we're going to get ready to head on out now. We have a cruise along the water. Yes, that is my open luggage and my um, uh, dirty clothes bag. Yeah, I know most professionals would have had that clothes, but, you know, I don't play those sorts of games. But, um... On Beagle Ramp, but we show it like it is. We do, yeah. The sign-off for this vlog will probably be to us sitting around uh, tomorrow at the hotel waiting out the storm. So, um, that's how we do. But right now, we're well, getting... We'll probably take some vlogs of the cruise and stuff. Yeah, we're, that's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to go out. We're going to have a nice cruise on Salem Harbor. And we are going to have a ghost tour, and the ghost tour starts at 8 o'clock. I thought it started at 7, so... Well, it'll be darker. So it, it'll, it'll be darker, good. so that's spookier, and we're trying to decide... I think they provide food on this cruise, so we may... Will we eat enough to constitute a dinner on the cruise? Will we not eat enough to constitute a dinner? Will we... Eat? Will the stuff be any good? We'll find out in just a little bit here, but a very nice day. Essex Street was really kind of popping earlier today, so it's... CVS was popping. CVS was popping, and a lot, and some shelves are starting to get a little empty there. Especially the ones with, like, the pre-bottled water. Yeah, the pre-bottled water was kind of empty. I think people are expecting things to get kind of crazy. Our flight leaves on Monday, so I hope everything is okay. I mean, when we were in Japan, like, mm -hmm. they had the typhoon, and then the very next day, the, day Shinkansen, the Shinkansen was working. Was working. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's Japanese organization, uh, so I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, we're having a good time here, and we're getting ready to head out and have some more fun. Yeah. Alright everyone, so we just got done with the Mahi Mahi Cruises here at the Salem uh, Harbor. It was a very good time. 
It was, I loved uh, it. yeah, it was very enjoyable. We got to see three lighthouses. I love this little mirror of the police bots charging station. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, we just got done with that. They did have to rebook me, and then they ended up charging me six dollars. Um, so I wasn't groovy with that. But, um, they didn't really have much in the way of food, so after our ghost tour, we probably are going to get some dinner. There's Eastern Bank, if you guys need to do some banking. But, um, yeah, we're, um, yeah, they just had, like, hot dogs and, like, uh, lots of beers and stuff. Lots of Bud Light and Corona seltzers, um, being, uh, served. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make our way back towards Essex Street, and we're gonna enjoy a bit of a ghost tour, and then probably grab some dinner afterwards, and brace ourselves for tomorrow. But overall, it was an enjoyable cruise. Uh, yeah, it was, it, it weren't fun having him to pay an extra six dollars for something that was even beyond my control, but like, you know, that, it's fine, um, yeah, we, um, we got to see three lighthouses. We don't get lighthouses in Cincinnati that much, so it was nice to enjoy that, and yeah, we're having a pretty good night. It's, um, a good time. The water was a little bit choppy, though, I've noticed, um, yeah, yeah so... Yeah. It's getting ready for tomorrow. Yep. So, yeah, that's why the footage was even worse than the stuff I usually record. Aww. But, yeah, it was a ex good experience. I, I can go ahead and say I recommend the Mahi Mahi Cruises. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say that. And so we just got done with the um, uh, ghost tour. I'll put... The Spellbound Tours, yes, we did the Spellbound Tours. It was pretty good. He was a very good um, presenter. I will say maybe some of the locations we stopped at, maybe some of the stories didn't match the locations that we stopped at, but... I think that... Oh. I thought you were going to say, like, some of the stuff didn't match. I'm like, I think that happens with folklore. Everyone has their own way of telling it. Yeah, and, like, there were some stories that, like... I guess he needed to tell, but, like, it didn't, like, actually happen. It just kind of, like, stuff that happened on his tour. But we did see the um, original location of the dungeon for the witch trials. It's now an office building. It's now an office building. We saw a, um, uh Episcopalian church where um, they built additions over top of a graveyard. Um... The haunted porta potty. We saw the haunted porta potty. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, the porta potties are down that way, kind of by the visitor center. So, um, yeah. Um, and somebody died um, in one of the porta potties one night. Um, let's see. What else did we see? I recorded something else. Um, the apartment where the Boston Strangler did his thing. Um, we saw that. We saw the jail cell Harry Houdini tried to escape from. He did. He tried and succeeded. So, goals, man. Um, yeah, so saw lots of pretty cool things. I felt absolutely nothing. They, w they went back to that um, uh, Turner's Seafood. Where group, like he said, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah so um Yeah, um uh the Turner's seafood is where um uh the first uh, victim of the witch trials, um uh, Bridget, Bridget Bishop, um where she had her land and um yeah, so um yeah and People say there's a lot of stuff going on there. I myself, I have a horrible supernatural receptor, so literally a ghost could be, you know, peeing on my leg and I would not know. But we're going to head on up to this restaurant, Rockefeller's, um, and get some dinner. It's a little bit late. We got a late dinner tonight. I didn't realize that the ghost tour started at 8. I thought it started at 7. And I thought it was 1 hour and not 2, but... Tonight we'll actually be hungry. Tonight we will have an amazing appetite going. So yeah, we're going to get some dinner and then head back to the room and 
they my breakfast order actually went through with the hotel so that was uh nice so yeah we're gonna have some fun and see what rockefellers has to offer so the rockefellers building has this nice little it's in a nice old school looking building here man i suck at vlogging anyway um we're gonna we need to go around to the front to get seated so that's what we're gonna do but you see an old-timey building you gotta you know yeah i gotta show the old-timey building some love here and yeah sometimes salem has a very nice european feel to it with a lot of people doing the outdoor eating that's real common in europe um, we don't do it in Ohio too much, so nice of Salem to have that. Yeah, this is, this is a cool looking building. Alrighty everyone, so we just got done with dinner at Rockefeller's. We got there after 10 o'clock so we could only order from the late night menu, but we enjoyed some flatbreads. Tasted pretty much like what you would get at any like amusement park i guess um and we had some french fries those were really good um yeah, there, were there were a lot of them we shared yeah. yeah we shared them and um yeah we're we're nice and full now but you know it's saturday night no rain no nothing or anything like that right now but it is eerily quiet on the streets of Salem. The hurricane is supposed to come tomorrow, and like, it is eerie. Like, last night was Friday. It was like, mobbed on this street, yeah. Like, it was so busy down this uh, road, and like, you look in the restaurants tonight, there's like nobody in there. So like, and Essex Street, Essex Street is that really long pedestrian street we had been showing um that was pretty dead tonight too so i think the people are gearing up for something um so we're gonna head back to the room um i'm probably gonna do a sign off for this vlog when we're just chilling at the hotel i because of the weather i think we're only going to go out to go to breakfast we brought some stuff at cvs for a little bit of like eating the chow down on tomorrow but by and large yeah we're gonna head back to the room tonight and we'll sign off for the trip and give some final thoughts um from the hotel tomorrow when we're stayed in thanks to hurricane henry all right guys so actually we are going to be able to go out and explore on our final day for salem so thank you so much for watching our ghost tour night and there is going to be another smaller vlog uh, for our final day in salem it looks like the hurricane has moved out the weather seems to be clearing out see it's um yeah 11 a.m this morning it was kind of rough but the afternoon's looking pretty good so we're gonna have another day in salem thank you so much for watching everybody make sure you like comment and subscribe you know you're the best fans of any youtuber in the world and yes we are getting ready to head out and enjoy a final day so there is going to be another albeit maybe shorter vlog of salem coming up so Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know you're the best, and we are going to catch you with some more Salem action. Bye!